Hello friends, so today in this video, we're going to discuss a problem actually suggested by one of my subscribers. He actually wrote an email to me uh, so that he want to actually like he is trying to solve this problem, but he is finding out difficulty solving this problem. That's why he asked me to make a video on this. It's not too difficult problem, but still uh, we're going to discuss this problem uh, in a very simple way. It states that like Sija loves integer sequences very much. And now you are given an integer sequence a one till like some like a n numbers. And now there is a staircase sequence. A staircase sequence is a such a sequence in which like it is first increasing as you can see a two is greater than a one. So it's like the numbers are increasing, and this they are not equal. They are only strictly increasing, and then they reach down to a some point, and then they strictly decreasing. So it's like a like a staircase. Okay, so I can draw it like uh, so. It's like an increasing. Sorry. Yeah, so it's like an increasing numbers then the decreasing numbers and they're strictly increasing or decreasing. Now, if you are given some sequence, as you can see, this is first increasing and then decreasing, increasing and decreasing and so on. This is not increasing because it's like, this is, in, as you can see, this is like increasing like three and then again increasing. Okay, so you are given some M cards of numbers. So like it means that you are given some M numbers and you have to find out the maximum number of cards which you can put among these numbers so that you, it can form a maximum stair sequence. So you are given some numbers and you want to arrange these numbers into a maximum contiguous stair sequence. And what is the length of that sequence you can form as you can see in this even though the six elements are given, but you can only form with the five elements as you can see one, two, three and then two, one. So as you can see, they're not re repeating out. So as you can see, as one is repeating out, it is used twice, two is repeating out, it is used again, but three is not repeating. Like it, you cannot reuse it again because if you like write down one, two, three, three, two, one, then it will violate the condition. So the simplest way look over this problem is as you can see first the constraints of b is up to 5000 so you can also see that one observation which comes to my mind is you cannot use any number which is more than thrice like you cannot like you can only use any number at max two two times which means that in the decreasing or the decreasing part if the number occurs more than two times you don't have to use that so it means that you have to know the count of every number and then you have to arrange them in an increasing order and then a decreasing order but you have to also ensure that so as you can see, you have to first like find out the count for every number. Okay. And then like you can put them in an increasing order. Okay. Uh, I will tell you how you can put them in increasing order. Uh, like sorting out doesn't matter, but like it means that you have to first find out the count for every number or like you can put out every individual numbers once you can use set or not. I'm not using that, but I can tell you that you just want every number once a one, a two, a three, so on. Be okay. So in the, in the example, just find out every possible number you have but only once and then sort them out because the numbers are also like distant because you're not taking a number twice you will be having the numbers which are increasing order or in simple terms if you have some numbers let's assume that you have 10 numbers just find out what are the distant numbers in those 10 numbers so let's assume that you have in among those 10 numbers you have seven numbers which are distant like they are different numbers so obviously they're different numbers which means that they might be in decreasing or anything order you can like sort them out if you sort them out, you will have some increasing sequence. If you have some increasing sequence, then the case can be now you want a decreasing sequence. Now, whatever number you have, you have three numbers left. You can make a decreasing sequence out of it, but you have to ensure that the number from which you start the decreasing sequence, the first number of the increasing and the like, like the last number of the increasing sequence and the first number of the decreasing sequence should not match. If they match out, then you don't have to do anything like you have to remove that number. But if you do, do not match out, then you can like, like use that number, which I mean by that is let's assume that I have some numbers like one, two, three, it is increasing. Then I have four. Okay. Then I have uh, like uh, two and one. So I have two twos, but it doesn't matter because the maximum number of this increasing sequence is four, whether four is used twice or not, like four is not used twice. It's only used one. So it doesn't matter like other numbers are used twice also because you have to use them in an increasing and decreasing order. So it means that you have to first count out how many numbers are there, how many distant numbers are there, sort them out. That will be the increasing sequence. And then whatever rest numbers are there, you have to just check that out. So now like the simplest way can be the numbers are small. So like you can make a count array. That's what I've done. I made a count array. And because when you put the frequency of every number in the count array, like you can use a like an array to store out whatever numbers are there. Okay, so let's assume that you, you see once one time, two, I see two times, three, I see three times. 
so which means one i see one time two i see two times three i see three times four i see one time and that's my like array okay that's the number i got so as you can see i can see that and five there is no five okay so then you can iterate from left to right and these numbers are also increasing like already increasing so just you just put all those numbers once so just because there is one one time just put one and i used one like there are two times two so i can use one two also i can use one three also i can use one four also and i cannot use one five okay then i go from back to front and then i will decrease the count because i have used there once so i will i have used them once so i will decrease the count i will decrease the count it will become one because i've used it it will become two it will become zero and then i will go from like i will go from back to forward because now it is like increasing sequence and a decreasing sequence so it it's like going from back to forward so it's like i have seen four okay like initially there was four but now there is no four so there is some element three here so you can put three here you just you just have to ensure that the two consecutive numbers they are not common if there is two times four and now you have seen that okay there is again four i want to insert a four here if i want to insert a four here then it will violate the condition so you you will always before inserting out match it with the previous number if you if they are same just like don't add it out then i will not add the four i will see three okay i can add three i can see two i can add two there is no one this is the sequence i hope you understand the logic part now so i will take down to the code part now it's, it's also very simple if you understand the logic so as you can see in this code part i will also share the code in the description as you can see the vector is for storing out all the counts of all the numbers that's what i've done here then iterating from left to right from zero till like because the maximum value is 5000 that's what i've done here then as you can see i will only write down that number in this vector which is storing out the in like the staircase sequence whenever my ai which is storing the count if the count is greater than zero then only that number is present now then only i will push back that number and i will subtract the count of that which i've told you move from left to right okay if this number is present if the count is greater than one then i will like put that number in the increasing sequence and decrease the count then i will go from back to front but before like i will also do the same thing if the number is greater than zero then only like that number is present because the frequency is there i will only push that but also i will check that the back element of the b vector it should not be equal to i the number which i'm inserting they are not should be same which i've told you if they're not same then only i can push back that number and like decrease the frequency and that so on and in the end we just have to print out the size of that vector and the vector itself i hope you understand the logic and the code for this problem Thank you for watching this video. I'll see you next one. Till then, keep coding and keep suggesting me problems. I'll see you next one. Till then, keep coding. Bye.